All right, today I'm going to show you how to build a wing half out of 5 millimeter foam board or 3 sixteenths if you're in America. I've got it all drawn out here. Our main wing width is going to be 8.5 inches. And this first line is your leading edge. And then the bottom side of the wing, 7 inches. That's going to fold over onto the bottom side of the top right here. Your ailerons on the trailing edge, that's an inch and an eighth. You can make your aileron whatever size you want. And it's a 30 inch piece of foam board, 30 by 20. Up at the top, I have the spars marked out. You'll need three spars per wing. You'll make a T-spar two inches back from the leading edge and then the, the trailing edge spar which goes right along the back side of the wing where that flap meets that flap. That's it. This is all you need for one wing panel. Now I'm going to go ahead and get started on marking my score lines. I'm going to mark every uh, quarter inch, five marks, every quarter inch actually on on this this side, on the eight and a half inch side, we're going to put quarter inch marks and then score it. I'll show you what it looks like. That way when we go to bend the wing over, it gives you a nice front leading edge, nice round one. All right. All right, well, hopefully you can see. So the pin mark is our leading edge. And I went an eighth over to mark the groove. So we're going to score along both of these, take the paper off, and take some of the foam out. Just don't punch through to the other side. That'll ruin your wing, so be careful when you're doing that. I'll show you how to do that. And the pencil lines below the pin line are just going to be score marks. So we get a nice bend on the wing. So this is what it should look like before you go to do any cutting. All right, you can see where I've gouged out our leading edge. Now I'm gonna take a small Phillips, and where I scored these lines here, I'm just gonna drag that through that score all the way down, each one, twice, so it gives it a nice groove. Once that's done, your wing is ready to fold. All right, well I've got my score marks. You can see right there how they're scored. That's with the little Phillips screwdriver. And this side being the bottom, you're going to take the top side and fold it over. So you get a nice curved leading edge. And just enough hanging back here for your ailerons. Now you can use what I'm going to use I'm just going to use the spars that I cut there off of this sheet. Put one one spar two inches back here. And then the rear spar down here on the end. That's three spars per wing because I'll probably do a T spar. I'll get it all lined up and show you here in a second. But if you're just looking for strength and you want a thin wing, you can just fold this over and glue it just like it is. If that's what you want. Alright. Well, moving on. You can also cut yourself a little rib out of extra foam you got. Roughly the shape of your curve for your end pieces. Or you could even cut them and put them all the way down the wing if you want. It gives it a cleaner look. And uh, I try to do a basswood rib on the inside of the wing where you're going to glue the two halves together.
but I wanted to show you that in case you want an end piece. That's a good way to do it. All it is is a little piece of foam. All right, so I went ahead and scored my aileron. I didn't break break it yet and bevel it yet. I'm going to fold the wing over before I do that. And I also did a drew a line two inches back from the leading edge on the bottom half of the wing, which is this half. Remember, that's going to be the top. This is the bottom. So I'll lay my spar across here like so. And then another piece, we call, I call it a T-spar, on top of that. And then fold the wing over. And that's going to help you hold your shape and give it a little bit of strength. And then your two ribs, one on each end. I went ahead and I cut a basswood one for the inner si inner half of the ring wing that's going to attach to the other wing. That way you can drill a hole in the wood and put a dowel in the middle to help give you more strength and line them up. So I'm going to glue the spar and the two ribs on and then fold this over and I'll show it to you when I'm done. All right, well I had to add a score mark. Right there, it ends up over my T-spar, which I have glued in. That way I get a, a nice fit. Also, I cut off a little bit of extra because when I fold it over, my aileron was meeting up with where the foam board was meeting up and that would have created a problem beveling and making that aileron move so I cut I don't know about an inch off of the bottom side and what I'll do is just run my rear spar glue everything down to the rear spar and then I'll bevel this after that's all done and glued over if you want to put an aileron servo in the wing now's the time to do it of course I do all mine on the outside in case something goes wrong with one of them, it's easier to replace. But you can do it however you like. And when you do your other half, just make sure you get your wooden rib on the correct end of the wing. Otherwise, you're going to have a headache tearing it apart and fixing it. You want a left half and a right half of the wing. So I'm going to glue that over, and I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. Well, it's all glued over. We got a nice end in a really good shape Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see see that leading edge is really nice and then here's the bottom you can see this this groove right here I cut I cut that much off of the bottom of the wing because my aileron and the bottom of the wing would have met you have to excuse the dog so now, all I have to do is bevel this. So here's the wing tip. And that came out real nice. I don't even know what model I'm going to build for this, but I always like to start with the wing because the wing is the most difficult part. And this ought to be really strong. Good luck folding it in half unless you're going to put a gas motor on here. Especially, you could always run carbon fiber or whatever you want inside the wing. But that's your airfoil. Now do the other the other half. And I did I did offset this rib. I slanted it in a little bit so when I glue it together, it'll have some dihedral. But that's how you build half of a 60-inch wing. I hope you were able to learn something, and hopefully you can get to building your own. Hey, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.